All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're hopping into our next game. Thank you so much for your patience. And uh, by the way, big thank you to Zelane for another 30-bit donation. I very much appreciate it. Uh, also, before we hop too far into this game and do our intros and everything, uh, I think it was, who was it? Future Terran asking about the sub emotes. I actually just submitted for two new sub emotes. So I actually only have, I, only, I have four total right now and I submitted for two. So, so until those are approved, I only have two sub emotes. If you type in, F little, I guess there's like, there's two of them. I'll go over it a little bit later, but uh, you can check those out. I think there should be a little emote icon next to your chat. You should see them at, but either way, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are spawning on Sequencer. And it's gonna be down here in the bottom left-hand corner of the map that we find our blue Terran player once again. It is going to be the one and only Raze, the meme lord Terran from Sloth Esports Club. And his opponent is going to be up here in the top right hand corner of the map, the red Zerg player. Give it up for Panda Bear Me from Root Gaming. Both of these guys, strong North American independent players that don't need no Europeans. And, uh, okay, well, we do have Rays going for the low ground barracks, going for a wall off. I like this as a nice little adaptation for how Sequencer is laid out. If you go for the full wall off over here, yeah, you have to be a little bit worried about these ro uh, rocks being knocked down at some point or Overlord drops or something weird happening. But if you wall off this point, you basically have a very easy three bases. And, oh my god, no, Rays, okay. Okay, he's just scouting around. Calm down, guys. He's not going for a one racks three cc build or something crazy like that but he doesn't have any gas geysers because he did go for a very quick command center no no okay raise raise Th i know three cc is a thing but usually you get three cc you know before you've made like two marines really Okay, well, you know what? Raze is going ham on the economy. Where does Panda Bear Me sit? Uh, Panda Bear Me looks like he's playing this out pretty standard. He's gotten up hatch gas pool. He's got two drones on gas, so he can eventually get up a Baneling F if he needs it. If not, he can get up an evolution chamber, start up some upgrades, or get up a lair. He can do something eventually with that extra gas. And in the meanwhile, he just has some uh, zerging speed. Looks like this was not a ladder game, in fact, as... Uh, Warren has just left the game, so I guess there was somebody spectating this game. Raze, is he gonna get away with this? Panda Bear Me is gonna take such a long time to scout this out. Overlord, getting pushed back. The uh, barracks on the low ground allows him to lift up and actually catch wind of that. Kills off the Overlord. That might not seem like a big deal, but Panda Bear Me is gonna take even longer to scout out the fact that this third expansion has been taken so ridiculously early on in the game and it's gonna probably be an orbital command as well i mean look at this this command center is gonna be finishing up before panda bear me has even saturated his natural expansion all right rocks are being knocked down panda bear me doesn't even still doesn't even know that his opponent is taking that third he's just kind of sending his overlord around the corner he's like yeah, I'm gonna be sneaky. I'm gonna get in my overlord and the scout the main base. Sees a couple of marines over there. He's like, oh, that's kind of annoying. It looks like he uh, kind of caught wind of the fact that I was trying to move in over there. Trying to knock down those rocks. Uh, Stim is in a very vulnerable position. So if Me does decide after seeing this third to go for a giant link flood. Ooh, he's already making a, not a crazy number of links. Okay, actually, no, this is a crazy number of links. I just saw the initial 16, but he has 16 more on the way. This could snipe off Stim. This could snipe off the reactor. This could be a really terrible position for Raze, especially considering, again, he invested in the orbital command so early on, that third CC. Oh my God, Panda Bear Me, not even seeing the third command center. Somehow just has some like star sense to go for the big Ling Baneling all in. This is actually insane. This is gonna do an insane amount of damage. And he sees, he's like, okay, you know what? I think he just saw the wall and he was like, yeah, okay. There's no way you're getting away with a, st uh, a st stim being researched on the outer edges. Zergans come in for the surround. Nice focus fire from Raze, but to one end, GG gets called. Panda Bear Me takes a four minute and 38 second game. The dream was alive for a couple, for at least four minutes.